Hi, it's Chris Alder, Stir of Weedy Good Fitness, and welcome to week four of your six week New Year fitness special with Disability Horizons. So, again, it's going to be cardio and dumbbells, so make sure you've got your dumbbells ready. It's going to be the last one we do with the dumbbells um, because the next two cardio workouts are going to be progressive in that we're going to do the complete workouts, and then the sixth week we're actually going to do it at a faster tempo. So, all the build up so far has been doing a variation of the moves that are going to come in the complete workout. Um, and so obviously as you improve we can then increase the tempo which puts you back where you were at the beginning working that extra bit harder. Must point out again obviously if you're joining us for the first time or in case you've been unwell if you do not feel that you are fit and healthy and it's okay for you to take part in exercise then please do not take part in this uh, workout and if you've been advised by a GP or a consultant that you should that exercise is not suitable for you or you have an existing medical condition such as heart disease or um, high blood pressure then please check with the GP whether it's suitable for you to take part before you do. Um, as always, posture is important, so try and keep your posture good throughout your workout. And as I say, we'll stop after the cardio as normal, grab your dumbbells, and then we'll do that next section. Okay, so make sure you're nice and tall, take your breath in, lifting the body up nice and tall, and as you breathe out, keep that tall posture. Take a second deep breath, hold it tall, and breathe out and into your march. So march it through, bend into your elbows, lifting your body up nice and tall, clenching the hands. It's the first part of the warm up is the same always. It allows us to warm the joints, keep everything nice and safe and comfortable. So march it through, into shoulder lift, relax the arms and squeeze and push. Squeeze up through your shoulders, into the neck, squeeze, down. Squeeze, keep those arms as straight and relaxed as you can. That way you're isolating that movement up to the top of your shoulder. Up, down, into your kickbacks. Push it back and bend through the elbows, pulling those arms up. Take your whole body up as well. Reaching back with the hands, stretch out your fingers where you can to lengthen them and stretch through the forearms. And back, up, shoulder circles. This time four. Four on the right, four on the left. Lead with the elbow again. Change back to the right and four again. Two, three, change. One, two, three. Into your front raises, reaching up and down. Stretching nice and long through the arm. Stretch your fingers and thumbs. Get into that rhythm now. Lift you up through the upper body. And up, down, up, down. That's that march, sway it across, use your core, use your thighs and your glutes where you can to get that sideways movement as well, helps get that circulation through your legs, clench the hands, release the fingers in between, that's good, get ready for your hugs, elbows in tight, squeeze, out, in, you're rotating just to the top of your shoulder, right over left, and left over right, and in, out, in, that's good, back to those kickbacks, keep nice and tall, so it's the arms that are going back rather than leaning forward, stretching your fingers out behind you as well, don't forget to lengthen those thumbs, it's always easy to forget the thumbs, stretch the whole up through, and then into your jacks, bend at the elbows, lock your elbows in place, pull up through the top of your shoulder, and lift, down, that's good, four more, up, down, Back to that march again, sway it across, cramp to your tummy area, so your body's coming up and down. As you keep it going, don't get those fingers as well, clenching and releasing to loosen those joints. Into your shoulder lifts up, up, down, up, down, squeeze, and up, four more, up, and up. Nice and tall as you squeeze those shoulders, lift your body taller. Back into those kickbacks again and reach, lift, reach. Stretch the arms nice and long, pull through the front of the arm down across the front as you reach back. That's good, it's four to go, two to go even. Shoulder circles, remember four this time. Lead with the elbow, keep the hand relaxed. Change sides and round. Two, three, and again, four. Three, 
two, change, left, into front raises, reach it up, down, and as you're starting to find this more comfortable, you should be increasing the length of those moves, increasing the effort you're putting into them to keep your body challenged, you don't want to get complacent and end up not getting the benefits you've got from the beginning, back to your Mars, sway it across, get those shoulders moving now as well, so I'm putting more and more energy into it, Keep going, and march, march. Two more on the side. Back to those hugs. So squeeze, out, in, out. Right over left, left over right. Four more, in, out, in, out. Two to go. Into those kickbacks, and reach, lift, reach, lift, reach. Well done, keep it going, stretch those arms nice and long, and back, back, up, into your jacks, and lift, lower, lift, and lift, lower, four to go, lift, well done, get ready to jump into your kayaks, grab your paddles now, push it through, eight on the right, and change size now, across to the left, pushing through, imagine that resistance as you're pushing through. Well done, into your sunshine, push the arm out. And five, six, seven, change size and push. Two, three, four to go. This is a trav line, right arm up, left arm down, lift through your body as well. You've still got this lift coming up. And change it over. Eight again. Well done, keep going. Into a shoulder squeeze. Pull, pull, pull. That's good. Squeeze those shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze. Clench the hands as well. Now we want to roll it out. So push the arms forwards. It's a little bit like a wheelchair push. But the same movement as the steam train, pushing those arms forwards, down and round. Get ready to go back to those kayaks. We're changing it this time, it's going to be fours this time. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, change sides, push. That's good, so it's a quicker change now, you're using your core more. And you're having to challenge your motor skills a little bit more. Into your sunshine, four, three, Two, chain side, push, two, three, and again, push, arms nice and long, rotating through your wrists and your forearm, trap line now, right arm up, left arm down for four, change it over, up, two, three, change, again with that right arm up, left arm down, change, up, into shoulder squeezes again, pull, Lend your hands as you squeeze those shoulders back. That way you're contracting those muscles. It allows you to stretch the top of the shoulder and the fore, uh, fore front of the arm. That's good. Bad to roll it out and push, push. Relax your shoulders. Keep it going. Well done. You're ready to get back to those kayaks again. Fours again. Three, two, one, and push. Two, three, four, and change. Coming up nice and high, pushing through that paddle. Match the resistance to the water. Here comes your sunshine. Take your arm a bit higher if you can. Four on the right, four on the left. Back to the right and push. Two, three, four, one, two, three. That's your trap lines and lift. The more you cross your arms at the front, the longer and faster that move. Left arm up. And again, back with that right arm. Using your core to lift up and down as well. Here comes your shoulder squeeze. And pull. Keep those elbows nice and high. Pull it back. Squeeze to the backs of the shoulders and the upper parts of your arms. And pull. 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 Well done, roll it out and push, 
push those arms round. We're going to go through that one more time. Get yourselves ready. It's kayak time. Really push yourselves a bit harder this time. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, chain, push, push. Change it over, push. Keep going, four again. Into your sunshine, four on the right. Again, get that nice fluid moving through your arm and the wrist. Change again, back to the right, four. Back to the left, push it out. Trap lines are coming, make it a good one. Four, three, two, change. Hop, hop. And again, four, three, two, change. Hop. Back to shoulder squeezes. Squeeze, squeeze. Pull those elbows back, keep them nice and high if you can, as near to shoulder height as possible. And pull, pull, pull. Get ready to roll. Three, two, one, and roll it out. Push it nice and long with those arms coming forwards. Okay, get ready to change it to a ski. That's where we lock our elbows. Imagine the resistance of the snow. Do you dig in your sticks and push it through? That's good. If you can't see, you lock the elbow, you dig the arm through the top of the shoulder and push, push, push. Ready for your trap lines again. Four again each side. So four, three, two, change, up. And again, four, three, two, change, up. And cycle. So it's taking the hands around, keeping the elbows flexible. Keep going, round. Into your trap line again, two this time, makes it harder. It's a quicker change, keep it going. Two more on the side, get ready to ski again. Three, two, one, and ski. Lock those elbows, pull through the upper arm to the back of the shoulders. Here we go. Ready for your trap lines. Two's again. One, two, change, change. Hop, hop. Keep it going. Hop, hop. Get ready for your hand cycle. And round we go. Sway the cross, trying to look at them. The more you look, the harder it feels. Get ready for those traps again. It's going to be twos. Three, two, one, and up. 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 Keep going. Up. Up. Okay, now we're going to ski again. Dig it in. Push down that water. Push it through. That's those trap lines for this time. One, two, three, four. Change. And again. Four, three, two, one. Change. And cycle round. Keep on cycling. And punch it up to the ceiling now. Up. Punch nice and high. Keep going. Up. Get ready to go out to the side. Three, two, one. And punch it out now. Change your hands on the chest. Otherwise we end up with this. We want a nice clean punch. Keep going, punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the ceiling. Hop, hop. Nice and tall. Add to the side. 
Well done. Now into a push down, up and down with those shoulders. Ease up on the effort now, because we're going to head into cool down. So up like those shoulders. Well done. Back to a march, march it through. Squeeze your shoulders up and down to loosen the back up. Let you release those hands as well. March it through. Reduce the effort to so allow the heart rate to come back down again. Back in shoulder lifts and lift down, lift down, lift down. Four more. Up, down, up, down, up. Into little kickbacks again as you're easing off now. You might start to be getting hotter as your body's releasing that heat. And back. Into shoulder circles, eight this time. Nice and gentle, keep it below shoulder height to reduce that effort. Change sides, up and round. That's it. And then your front raise, nice and gentle, more the sway, soften up your wrists, loosen up the arms. Keep it going, doing good. Back into your march, sway it across, reduce that effort again. We can go through those again one more time. Ease it up a little bit more now, smaller moves again. If you find your heart rate is still elevated, ease off even more to allow it to come back down. Shoulder lift, so up, down, up, down, up. That's good, four to go, up, down. Smaller again, reducing the effort into your kickbacks and reach, lift, reach, reach. Four to go. Stretch out those fingers and thumbs as well. And back. Shoulder circles nice and easy again, a lot smaller now. Five, six, seven, chain side up and round. That's good, now your front raise is really gentle this time, more of a sway of the arms, so just wave the arms forwards, nice and easy. Up, down, up, four more. Ready for your final move, which is your march. Nice and easy, really ease it off now, soften it up. And then once we come to the end of this march, we're just gonna do that usual last stretch. In five, four, Three, two, one, reach, lift, stretch all the way out, nice and wide and tall. And then one more again, lift up, stretch your body tall, reach out nice and wide, slowly down. And then loosen up your wrists, up into the elbows, up into the shoulders. Grab yourself a quick drink, mop your brows if you need to, and get your dumbbells ready. So hopefully you felt a bit of a difference in that one with those quicker changes where we've gone from eights down to four or fours down to twos. The quicker changes mean you're engaging your core a lot more because of that quicker movement. Your brain's having to think a lot more as well. So it's good for your motor skills and your coordination. So again, those things all help to make things a little bit harder and to progress you in your abilities and your fitness levels. So we're going to move to dumbbells. Again, we've got five exercises, three sets of each exercise. So grab your dumbbells ready. And uh, I'm just going to grab a drink of water myself. I keep telling you all to have a drink, and I never do myself. Okay, so we're going to start as normal with bicep curls, but we're going to make them slightly harder this time. So normally we bring them up this way, but this time we want to turn our palms down. It will feel tight, so the movement will be a little bit more restricted. If for any reason you can't do it, then go back to the normal one that you're used to doing, so that you're not um, just sitting there watching, watching me. Okay, and then we're going to throw a couple of other mixes in with those dumbbells. First of all, posture as always, take your breath in. Lifting yourself up nice and tall, and then as you breathe out, keep that tummy tight and keep that tall posture. And then one more for luck. Breathe really out. Here we go. Palms down. And up, up, 
down, down. Now you'll find this movement may feel a lot tighter and a lot more restrictive, so you're not moving as far. The other thing you want to be aware of is not to over squeeze with your thumbs because you'll naturally try and do it in this position and that will actually become more uncomfortable in the side of the thumb and in your forearm. So up, up, down, down, up, up, down, and relax. Look how quick and easy that was. Okay, so your second set, same again. So you're keeping the arms down, palms facing down rather than up where you, where you can. Second set, eight again. And up, up, down, down. I'm going to turn my hand to the side so you can see the wrist is keeping nice and straight. What you want to avoid is doing that. So it's just from the elbow, up, down, down. And up, up, down, down, up, and down. Give me two more. Up. Don't forget that thumb, don't over squeeze it. And relax. Loosen everything up. So your final one, and again, you might want to stretch your fingers. If you're feeling it here, it does mean you're over gripping with that thumb, so try and relax your thumb a little bit, and perhaps more with the fingers to hook, rather than hooking under with the thumb. Okay, again, make sure you're nice and tall. Final eight. Four, three, two, one, and up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, and up, and down. Four to go. Up, and down, and up, and down. Two more. Up, down, and up, and relax. Loosen up the wrists, loosen up your arms, shake it all out. So next those side raises, we've done these before, we want a little bit of a bend in the elbow, we don't want the arm straight because you put the straight into the elbow joint, so keep a little bit of a bend as if you're pulling your arms up with something heavy, and you're pulling up and out to shoulder height, and down. Okay, remember the main work is coming here in the top of your shoulders to lift the ex and extend the arm. Here we go. And up, up, down, and up, and down. And up, down, up, four to go. Now as you bring those arms, try and pull them out nice and wide from the top of the shoulder. That way you're going to engage the lat a lot more. And up, up, down, and up, and relax. Again, loosen your shoulders, rotate the arms to soften the arms up a little bit, especially up into the top of the shoulder. Second set. So again, check you stay nice and tall. Squeeze that tummy in tight to give your body nice stability and balance. Here we go. And up. And down. And up. Up. Down. And up. Down. And up. And down. Four more. Up. And down. And up. And down. Two to go. Down, one more, up, and relax. Loosen up the shoulders, shake out in the wrist. You've got that slightly longer rest. And then we've got the final set. Now the next one we're doing is the tricep, uh, which we haven't done before. So I'm gonna turn for that one so you can see a little bit more. Um, so don't worry, I'm not shooting off anywhere. So make sure you're nice and tall, check your posture still for this final set. And the arms down to the side, a little bend in the elbow. Eight set, eight reps. Here we go. And up, up, down. And up. Keep that grip nice and comfortable. Don't over grip your dumbbells. Keep that little bend in your elbows. Aiming for shoulder height. Again, if you're not sure if you're coming out enough, look to the side and you get a better idea of whether your arms are coming up to shoulder height or not. And up, up, down. One to go. Up. And relax, loosen up. So I'm going to turn to the side. So the tricep is the muscle here in the top of the back of the arm. And to do this one, we want to flex forward, keeping the back straight, pull the elbows up nice and high, and then you're just extending the arm in and out. 
so you work that muscle at the very top. Keep the tummy tight so that way your back will be comfortable and supported. Further forward you lean off so the higher these elbows can go. Here we go, nice and tall. And back, back, down, down. So you're only reaching back to almost fully extend the arm. And then you bend the elbow to bring the arm, your hand and your arm down to the side of your body. Down, down, and back, back, down, down, back, back, down. And back, back, down, back, back, down, and relax. Loosen yourself up. And change direction again so you can see it from the side. And also so that my neck doesn't get stuck looking in one direction. Again, nice door flexing forwards, elbows nice and high. And back, back, down. Just on the elbow, keep the upper arm fixed in place, just like you do with the bicep curl. You don't want to be bringing the dumbbells too far forwards, literally to the side of your body. And back, back, down, down, back, back, down, down, back, and down. Want to go? Back, and relax. Now you should be feeling it up in the muscle here, which is your tricep. You may feel a little bit in the shoulders, holding your arms up as well, hopefully not too uncomfortable. And now your final set. So again, keep those elbows up nice and high. Don't over grip as well, because you will restrict your movement, making it more difficult and uncomfortable. So hopefully you'll get used to that in time, the more you do it. Bring those elbows nice and high. Shoulders back, final set of these. Here we go. And back, back, down. And back, back, down. Back, back. Down and back, back, down. Four more, back. You're almost done. Keep it going. Three to go. Back and down and back, down. One more and relax. Well done. Loosen up. You may, as I say, feel it up in your shoulders uh, from holding those shoulders up in place. So, your next one is a front raise. Again, one we've already done. When we bring the arms forward, we rotate in, out and down. Again, the taller you can be, the better. As you bring the arm forward, try and reach forwards as well, without leaning, so you're stretching to the back of the shoulder, fully extending the arm. Here we go. So up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out, down. Down, up, out, and down. Keep those arms nice and long. Keep them fixed in place. You want to isolate that movement right just into the top of the shoulder. So up here, as you're pulling in and down. Loosen yourselves up, rotate the arms, soften it all up. Shake it out of the hands if you need to. Second set. <sighs> Hope you're enjoying this. Hopefully your arms aren't aching too much. Second one, here we go. And up, in. Out, down, up, in, out, and down, up, in, out, and up. Four to go, and up, in, out, and up, in, out, and up, in, out. One more, up, in, out, and relax. Loosen up the shoulders, soften it up. Longer rest again on this one. Then one more set, and then we've got our final exercise with the dumbbells. And again, that's another new one. So bring those arms down, ready. Check your posture again, make sure you're still nice and tall. The shoulders are up, back, and down in a comfortable position. Final eight of these. Here we go. And up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, down, up, in, out, and down, up, in, out, four more. Up, in, out, and up, in, out, two to go, up, in, out, and up, in, out, and relax. 
loosen up the shoulders. Okay, so this next one is a bit like a shoulder lift, but it's actually part of a shoulder roll. So again, I'm turning to the side so you can see a little bit better the movement. Arms down by the side. Now normally with the shoulder lift, we just squeeze up. But what we want to do is as we come up, we want to bring the shoulders forwards, pull them up, back, down and round. Okay, keep the arms as long and relaxed as you can, so you're using the whole of the shoulder area. Up, back, down, round. So up, back, down, round, up, back, down and round. Make sure you're staying nice and tall in your upper body. So you're lifting the whole of your core up, you're squeezing the tummy nice and tight, and your arms are just holding those dumbbells in, in place. The shoulder is doing all the work. One more, up, back, down, and relax. Okay, hopefully you're comfortable with that one. Remember, as you come down and round, you want to pull forwards, up and round. So now you'll be able to see me from the front. Here we go, second set. And up, back, down and round and up, back, down and round, up, back, down, round. Try and really pull those shoulders back so you're stretching the top of the chest and the front of the shoulder, an area a lot of us tend to be tight in, especially if you're a wheelchair user or if you use a walker or uh, crutches because you're naturally leaning forwards. And relax, loosen it up. Final exercise. Again, longer rest. So the same, you may feel it tight here because if you're holding sticks, we tend to come forwards. Pushing in a wheelchair, we tend to come forwards. And same with a walker, anything that we use for assistance, we naturally bring in the arms forwards. So normally I tell you to take everything back, but on this one we want to bring it forwards because then we lift up and back and we get a nice big stretch in there. Last exercise of the day. Here we go, nice and tall. And up, back, down, round. Up, back, down, round, up, back, down, and round, up, back, down, four more, up, back, down, round, up, back, down, two to go, nice and big, one more, up, back, down, and relax, well done, pop your dumbbells down. And just loosen yourself up, shake it all out. We're gonna do our stretches. So first of all, bring your arms forward at shoulder height. Take them out to the side with the palms facing forward, easing your arms back, reaching out nice and wide to get that stretch across the top of the chest and the shoulder. The further back you go, the more you will hopefully feel it in this area. And then without releasing that stretch, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, ease those arms further back to increase and develop it. Holding it there. And then relax, bring the arms forwards. Imagine a rope on the end pulling you forwards. Keep your arms nice and long, pulling in the back of the shoulders. Keep your back straight, flex forwards from the hips, and then put a gentle arch in the lower back, getting your arms as near to head or shoulder height as you can. Holding it there. Relax the arms down, breathe in to come to upright. Bring the arms forwards again at shoulder height. As you bring them out this time, turn the palms away, easing back as we did with the first one, reaching out nice and wide to get that stretch a little bit further up into the top of the arm and shoulder. And again, without releasing that stretch, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, ease the arms further back, reaching out even wider. And relax down, bring your right arm forwards. Take it across the body, using the other arm where you can to pull. Keep the shoulder down nice and low, getting the stretch into the back of the shoulder. If you're undoing the arm on its own, reach out with the hand to give it a bit of stretch. Changing sides, left arm across. Same again, gently pulling, keeping that shoulder nice and low. And then relax, bring the arms down to your side, stretch out your fingers as wide as you can go. If you can, bring them right down. I'm just aware that I'm out of camera shot with my hands if I take them right down. Give them a little wiggle. Stretch them out again. And then bring the right arm up into your tricep stretch. So you lift your body nice and high, bend at the elbow, easing back at the top or supporting at the bottom. Bring the hand behind if you can reach to pull or walk your fingers down the back to allow that part of your arm to come further back to stretch into your tricep. 
and then bring that arm over. Changing size, left arm, lift up nice and tall, bend at the elbow. Easy back to get that stretch into your tricep. Again, support at the bottom and hands together if you're flexible enough to do so. And then relax as you bring the arm over, place your left arm across the chest, rotating through the middle, take your head and shoulders around to the right as far as you're comfortable to go. And then take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, take that stretch around that little bit further to increase and develop it, to keep that tummy area pulled in tight as well. And then slowly come back to the front, changing arms, your right arm across the body, rotating round to the left. Again, to get that stretch in the area from your hips all the way up to the shoulders. Slowly come back to the front. Take your right arm forwards, lift the hand up, using the palm, pull the whole of the hand back to stretch into the base of the wrist through the palm. Alternatively, place it down on your leg and push down. And take the hand away, tuck in your thumb, curl the hand into a fist, lowering it under. Gently pulling under to stretch into the forearm. And then change your arms, left hand and arm forwards. Gently pulling back, easing it to get that stretch into the base of the wrist. Take the hand away, thumb, curl into a fist and under, gently pulling underneath to get that forearm stretch. And then bring the hands together, apply gentle pressure, pushing down, squeezing across the top of the chest as you're doing this. And then push all the way up to the ceiling as high as you can go. Stop at the very top this time and then take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, stretch even further, reach out as wide as you can, keep stretching on the way down until you get to shoulder height, and then relax yourself down. Loosen up your wrists, up into the elbows, up into the shoulders, and you have finished week four. Well done. Great effort. See you next week.